Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thought I'd make a quick little vlog update here before I head to bed. Uh, I just want to tell you guys the best purchase I've ever made in my life was this G7X camera right here. This G7X has allowed me to express myself hundreds of times in ways that I couldn't have imagined expressing myself five, six years ago when I first started vlogging with my iPhone. I get people asking me, Ted, what's the best camera to use for, for vlogging? What's the best way to get started with vlogging? And I ask them, do you have a smartphone? They say, yeah. I say, use that. That's what I used. I just had to share what was around me. I had to share my thoughts. I had to get some things off my chest. Whipped up my iPhone and I just started vlogging and said, hey guys, this is Hawaii. This is my life in Hawaii. And it went from there. And I've been using the same G7X camera for about three years now, I think. So the reason I'm making this vlog saying that this was the best purchase ever is because sorry, I'm giving this camera away to my friend Sophie for the next couple weeks while she gets started with vlogging. Sophie's ordering a new camera. I'm giving her mine to use until hers arrives. So I'm not going to have this G7X for a couple weeks now. I might start doing some more vlogs, little vlogs on my phone or or I just might start vlogging with my DSLR. Some people think all oh, these vloggers are out there, they're so beautiful, they're making all this money, and they're living the life just, you know, showing what they're doing each day. And for some people, yeah, it's what they love to do and they're really good at it. But for other people, maybe that's not what they want to do. Maybe, maybe you're the type of person who wants to paint or draw or write or sing or rap or beatbox. Figure out what type of person you are currently, not for the rest of your life. Don't think of some grandiose thing where it's like, oh, I was put on this earth to do this. I was put on the earth to be a video gamer. I was put on the earth to be a, to be a rapper or a singer. And you can have those beliefs if you want, but if you don't believe that about yourself, that's totally fine as well. There's some people who for sure they believe they're put on this earth to do a single purpose and they do it well. And that's all they love to do day in, day out, day in, day out. And people write biographies and autobiographies about these, they write biographies about these people. But there's other people like myself who I, like to do many, many different things. I like to try out many things, see what works. If you've checked out any of my recent video work on my new channel, Ted Car Videography, you'll see that I'm shooting all types of different videos on there. And before videography, I was into triathlon. Hardcore into triathlon. I did triathlon for six years. Only recently did I come over to videography and pretty much do this all the time. And before triathlon, I was into computer games. I was a computer gamer. I was playing RuneScape. I ranked third in the world for RuneScape at one point. But now it's turning out to be, hey, look, this is my life. This is the way I'm living. These are some things I want to share with you. These are some things that have worked for me. These are some, some thoughts that I've had. Maybe you want to think about these things too. And it's just been a way, to, a way of expressing myself. I really dig vlogging as like a therapy. Uh, but don't think that you gotta vlog just because other people are doing it or just because someone told you to do it. Everyone's got their own thing. Find out what your thing is and just do it until you no longer enjoy it, until it's no longer fun, until, you, until you're no longer evolving from it, all right? Don't let people's expectations of you prevent you from evolving and growing into who and what you could potentially grow and evolve into. And you can grow and evolve into whoever you imagine yourself to be, whoever you really wanna be or whatever you really wanna do, whatever kind of art you wanna create, just by having strong enough desire to do so. So you're never really gonna know how initially, how you're gonna do something. It's it's a bit foggy, it's a bit hazy, that, that vision initially. But the more you think about it, the clearer that vision becomes until one point it's physical reality. Until one point you see your arm extended out in front of you and you're holding this camera perhaps and you're seeing yourself in this top screen above or whatever it is. You're a painter and you're, or you're a singer. You're actually on stage in front of an audience. I visualize myself in front of an audience hundreds of times at various points of my life. And now whenever I get on stage, it's just like, it's, it's real. You know, something that I've, I've visualized and thought about so many times, it's like, now that I'm on stage, it's like, all happened because I held the vision initially. But when things become a reality, don't worry about the how, just focus on the what. Like, get clear on what it is you want and then uh, just let yourself fantasize about it and just get all caught up in the why. The why. How badly do you want it? Why do you want it? Focus on that. All right. Well, anyways guys, I'm gonna head to bed. Thanks for watching uh, I think that's all I wanted to say later. Peace